Okay, so what do we think about this um, antiderivative, right? I need to find an antiderivative of this function. I, I don't have one quite yet, like just memorized. So I need to use substitution rule. Can someone tell me what I should let my u be for my substitution? Okay, so if I let u be the entire denominator, let's see, does that satisfy uh, my rule of thumb, right? The rule of thumb is that I should make u equal to something whose derivative is sitting outside multiplying the whole thing. So the derivative of u here is 2x squared 3x plus 5 times 2x minus 3. It's not quite multiplying the whole thing, right? So I, now I see a lot of you kind of um, modifying that, right? You're saying actually make it not the denominator, but whatever's inside the square. And I do see your, a question right now about the previous question, so we'll go back to that uh, right after this. Okay, so in fact, I'm actually going to do it without the square. So u is just this thing. So we start our translation table. I find the derivative, and then I solve for dx. Now, if you now we start the translation, and if you did the translate, if you did the u substitution correctly, we should have cancellation. Okay, so the 6x minus 9, I don't know what to do with quite yet. The denominator is u squared, and the dx is du over 2x minus 3. Okay, so the top, I can obviously factor as 3 times 2x minus 3. And that cancels out. So I get antiderivative of 3 over u squared. OK, so now where do I go from here? Take the antiderivative. OK, good. So can you tell me what the antiderivative is? And it might help to actually write this as a power function, right? Write this as 3u to the minus 2. That would probably help you out. Okay, so let's see. So you said, right, the 3 comes along as a coefficient. I increase the exponent by 1 and divide by the new coefficient, and I put my plus c. So I can write that as negative 3 u to the negative 1 plus c. It's not ln. Remember, ln is if 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 this was u to the negative 1, the antiderivative would be ln. But since this was originally u to the negative 2, the antiderivative is actually just u to the negative 1, right? You're doing like too many antiderivatives, right? You're, you're you're thinking, okay, now I'll do another antiderivative, right? But we're already done with that part. So going back to x, I get negative 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 to the negative 1 plus c. And notice I did go back to x because the there's no limits of integration, right? In other words, I just want to find an antiderivative of this in terms of x. So the final answer should be a function of x.